we go down. It is officially spooky season time. Oh my god. Ooh. I am so sorry if you can hear my cat. We recently got a kitten. There will be a vlog. Don't you worry. And he's playing with the with my Lavio mic, so. But hey! It is officially spooky season time, and we all know what that means. An October TBR. I've never actually properly done a TBR for my month, just because I am very indecisive, but I feel like I picked some pretty good options. I'm also going to be including the books I read in September, just because I don't want this video to be too short. And I know it's only the 29th of September when I'm filming this, but whatever. And again, I'm so sorry if you hear the kitten. Starting off with my reading wrap up. I read three books in September and I'm pretty proud of that number. Is he gonna jump? Oh, he's gonna jump. Hi, baby. Here he is. He's such a cute little baby. Yeah, we love him. We stand him. He loves everything. I started off by reading Fourth Wing, the book everybody is obsessed about. I made a whole TikTok about like what I thought about this book and I don't think this is like a six star book for me. I'm very excited to read the next book. And I definitely feel like one of the reasons I really liked this book was actually just because of all the hype and seeing a bunch of people liking it and being part of a community. Like, I'm very behind on like popular books I want to read. So it's just like nice to be part of like, for, like for the first time being part of like book talk and fully experiencing it. So definitely liked Fourth Wing. I think I gave it like four point 25 stars. Not a five star, but it's definitely good. The next book I finished was the second book I've ever read by Fred McFadden. I read The Inmate. For some reason, this took me way longer to read than the first book I read by her. I literally read that in three days, but I blame that on just being home and doing normal things, not feeling like I, have much, I had as much time. Because when I read the first book, I was on holiday. Literally, I could just read all day. You know, it was easier to be like, have an excuse to read and like, here I actually have to make time to reading when I'm home personally. So it it did take me a little while to read the book, but it's not a bad book. That toys was really good. I don't know, what is the inmate even about? It was like, well, this woman who, when she was like younger, she was like, her boyfriend like almost killed her. And like, we're jumping back and forth between timelines, like 10 years ago to now, 10 years ago, like stuff like that. I really f stand by this. I feel like Freedom Mac Fathom's books are just amazing to read. If you want to get into thriller books and if you want something that's fast paced and really easy to read and the the way she writes is super duper easy, like I could easily binge her books, no problem at all. And then I finished this book last night actually and I do not know how to feel about it. Boy Parts. I might make a whole TikTok about this Book. I read Boy Pants. I finished it last night. I actually finished it on my Kindle. I was really excited about this book and I don't know, I haven't read it yet because I don't know how to feel about it. Because the main character, she is so unlikable and you just dislike her so much. But in some ways like i understand it like i kind of get it but like there's no i feel like there's no reason for her to be so like mean to everybody i didn't like her at all i guess i had higher hopes for this book and it kind of weirdly i i don't know how to feel about it because i didn't feel like there was any like story like in my head when pretty quickly when they started talking about her like photographs being like showed at like a huge art gallery view thingy whatever i was expecting that to happen pretty quick i didn't expect that to be the end of the book like i was expecting like that to be a view and then there was all those things about like her seeing glass i generally don't know how to feel i think the writing was really good and i think the alliance of cork made a very unlikable character like i literally just didn't like her but at the same time like i kind of understood at her on some point but like i feel like there was no reason for her to be this much of a bitch but then again she's like bitchy to men so it's like 
I get where people are coming from with this being like a feminine rage book. So I guess in terms of that, it's good. Next up, we are going to be going into my October TBR. These are going to be in no particular order. It's just like the order I chose to list up. I'm not going to read them in this order, but I might start reading this pretty soon. So first up on the list, we have Whalefall by Daniel Kraus. This is a 336 page book. And from my understanding, this this is a book you should be reading in one sitting, mostly because the whole book takes place of like, I think an hour-ish. We follow this main character who is trying to find his like deceased father in the Pacific Ocean and then like this whale like eats him but not like actually like swallows him and kills him but like he's like stuck in this whale and he has like one hour left of oxygen and he has to find a way out. So it's definitely a book you should probably be reading in one sitting but I've never done that before so that's a bit scary and also the cover is like really fucking cool. There's like a there's gonna be a common theme. I like book covers a lot. Now the next book we have on the list we have Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Eric LaRocca. I think so. It is quite a short book and I'm going to be completely honest, I'm actually unsure what this book is about. Out. Obviously, we are running with the theme that I love the book cover. We have that in common. It's a really interesting cover. I think all of his covers are beautiful and really cool, really interesting. And I really like that it's only 100 pages. So this is also another book that's probably best to read in one sitting. It's probably going to take me like two hours to read because I read like roughly 50 pages an hour. Like, I don't understand fully what this book is about. Okay, so from my understanding, it's like, I love the lens pad. What have you done to just today to disturb your eyes? Like what's so creepy? I actually have a phobia, bad things happening to eyes. And I saw, if you're into horror movies, I saw like the, the fucking poster for the new Soul movie and I'm just like, absolutely the fuck not. I'm, I haven't watched a horror movie in forever. That's a lie, I watched a horror movie last night. Kind of funny, I actually fit it for the first book. It was like this couple who went under, like into a house that was like underwater. Try and have it on screen what the name of it is. I'm not gonna spoil it if you wanna watch it. It wasn't terrible at all. It was just, I don't know. It takes me, it takes me a lot of time to commit to a movie, but I commit way easier to books. I feel like books are better than movies in most cases. And then we have my first Stephen King book. We have Stephen King fairy tale. I'm probably gonna read more of him because Stephen King, I do like the movies I've watched that he's made. So this is one of his newer books. This was released in 2022. We got this at Waterstones at one of those buy one get half one price. I, I know I should remove the sticker. I'm just kind of nervous of it like messing up the cover. That's like the whole reason behind it. This book is about this teenage boy who who has like a pretty average normal life. My understanding, his mom died in an accident and then his dad just started like really heavily drinking from like the loss, which it's okay. So he lost basically both of his parents at like a very young age. And he basically finds this house where there's a teleporter, a portal to another world. And yeah, that's the description. Really, there's a bit more in the description, but like, you go on saying. And I'm gonna be honest, this sounds so much like my favorite book of all time, which is Imaginary Friend by Stephen. I need to, I need to know how to pronounce his name, but. Stephen Chbosky is my favorite book and they kind of like have the same vibe because Imaginary Friend is like also about a young boy like that boy is like uh, Christopher he's like way younger I think he's like 11 or something and this is like a high school teenager boy where like he also he builds like this tree house because voices tells him to do it and there's also a portal to a different world it's like, it's like kind of the same vibe and I'm like noticing a theme like all the books I picked is like horror themed but I feel like that's like perfect for October so now this next book is like a series it's called the disorder series like disorder just that and the first book in the series is called the best girls again cover is really interesting it's like a bunch it's like a collection of short stories but it's like multiple 
books and you can only get them digitally. So they're all on my Kindle, obviously. This is obviously a horror book and it's only 20 pages long. So I'm going to be trying to see if I can read all of the books in like a month because I feel like that makes the most sense. I'm a little bit confused on how it can be slow paced and only be 20 pages long. Like, and it's all written by different authors. So the lad, like all the covers, like kind of the same vibes, like looks like ink splatter and this is like a short story series of eight books where the longest one is like 57 pages and the first one's 20 pages so i downloaded the first three books just kind of to see like is this something i should read from my understanding the first book i'm just gonna read off my phone is a book about this young girl who lives in like a very traditional family in seoul she's basically just been told that the only way a house can run is like from a boy like the way she gets any approval it's like doing a bunch of sacrifice and like she wants to be the one who carries the family she doesn't want to like marry a boy for like you know and apparently she does like what she needs to do to like support her family it honestly sounds incredibly sad but i'm just really intrigued by it only being 20 pages i'm just being like how can you fit what can you fit in that time frame okay and next up we have our wives under the sea this is also a highly anticipated book and i'm very excited to see where this book goes and now the kitten's awake and he wants to play with the um, cable hi oh is he gonna take a seat maybe i don't know the wives under the sea is a book about this gay couple i guess you can call it there like one of them goes under like this deep sea mission and like when she comes back up she's like really fucked so like they have to deal with that it sounds really interesting it is slow paced though so that makes me a little nervous but i feel like i'm getting back into my reading grind and out on my reading slump i was gonna go grab the last three books that i'm like currently reading slash almost like putting on hold slash DNFing, but I cannot do that because my cat is literally just laid in my lap and I'm not going to go up just to get books, you know? So I am currently reading, I'm not gonna DNF this book, I'm currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and I'm 25% done with the book and so far I like it. Definitely see why people like it. It's pretty easy to read, pretty medium pace. It's pretty damn good. See the hype. And I'm definitely probably gonna read Throne of Glass too and see what the hype of that is and just like all of her books and like, you know, become part of the hype of Sarah J Maas. Next up, we have The Wicked King, the second one in the Cruel Prince series. And it's not, I don't hate this book. It's not a bad book. I'm currently like 30-ish uh, percent done with the book. I'm around 100 page 150 and it's just really been on like a back burner for me lately i don't hate the book at all but it's just like it takes me so much brain power to read it and i think it's because it's so heavily political i don't really understand most of their conversations when they are talking about war and stuff like that like it doesn't really make much sense in my brain but like when they have like conversations like i understand that like conversations are fine but i feel like the book's just really difficult for me to read i like the first book and i'm definitely gonna read the entire series but it's just really difficult for me to read so i'm kind of putting it on hold right now and for the last book we have a book that's taking me forever to read it's called a diary of a murderer it's like a book about this guy who used to be a serial killer murderer and like he never got caught it's like from, he's like from korea and we like follow him like writing a bunch of diary entries because he just got like alzheimer's so he's like forgetting and things like like his daughter's new boyfriend is gonna like murder her but like he keeps forgetting and then like the story kind of ends and then it goes into like a different story and now it's like on like a really really sad story and like, every time i just read a little bit i could just i get so upset so it's not like it's a bad book but it's just like oh it's like it hurts my soul when i start reading just like five lines i'm like no i can't do it so um, i want to dnf it but it's like i'm so close to finishing i'm like under 100 pages but it's like ugh, can't do it anyways that's gonna be it for today's video guys i really 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 hope you enjoyed that video if you did maybe you want to like the video comment down below what you thought of the video or subscribe to my channel if you want to look at more book content vlogs anything really i feel like posting you can also follow me 
on TikTok, Instagram, all those platforms. Also, take photos if you're curious about that. Please remember to be kind to yourself and others, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!